I got a page of, hey, there's rapidly moving cobalt strike through the environment. Text engineers, they put out threats really quickly. They were well scoped and tipped us off really well. We're talking like 15 minutes from occurrence to execution, really, really fast response time. And, and this was key in keeping the hospital open and keeping, you know, maybe people alive. These guys showed up. This was an experienced actor. They leveraged a vulnerability in an exchange server. They pushed a bunch of tools onto a device. And then from that device, they moved throughout the environment. So these guys knew what they were doing. If this were to have moved, and if it were to move through to actions on target, the hospital would have been ransomed. And if the hospital were ransomed, you know, who knows what that means? Services are down, access to the hospital is not happening. In the past, when this has happened with other hospitals, like surgeries can't take place, potentially like life-saving stuff. So once I received the notification from Taylor, he was like, hey, can I get some help? Hopped on the call, just trying to get a feel for the situation. We had the three threats published for Cobalt Strike. So at that point, we knew it was interactive. The concern there is if we take everything offline through the endpoint, then hospital MRI machines, things like that can't function. We had not a huge time frame as far as making a decision. So with the team with where they were at and the concerns they had and just general jitters and anxiety, made the call to go ahead and we'll take down the firewalls. So went there reasonably, we could unplug two devices or rather disable them. And then that would kill any sort of network connectivity to kick those actors out. We didn't want to take down core because we still wanted their local intranet to be functional. So hopped on those devices. At that point, we dropped telemetry, of course, but we were pretty confident that at least the actors would have been kicked out, which did turn out to be successful from the fall on with their incident response. After that, I was rather concerned about their cloud environment and their identity space. I figured, hey, maybe we can write a conditional access policy just to drop everything. So we did that to try to scope that in. And honestly, hunting once things are not on fire is much easier than, than hunting while things are on fire, right? So yeah, it really came down to they were staging for exfil. So we likely interrupted that as well um, and stopped any further infections.